Call of Duty just posted a blog post with everything that we need to know about Modern Warfare 2 and the launch. So here we go, let's take a look at this. From campaign early access to the start of Season 1, get ready for non-stop action in Modern Warfare 2. An introduction to Call of Duty's new era, welcome to the new era of Call of Duty. On October 20th, anyone who digitally pre-ordered or pre-purchased Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gets early access to the game's campaign, up to one week before the game's official launch on October 28th. That early access period marks the end of of a 141 day journey since the game's reveal announcement on June 2nd, one that featured plenty of intel. First, we were introduced to Task Force 141, taking a quick dive into its global campaign with one of its missions, Dark Water. Through multiple intel drops, lead developer Infinity Ward explained key development concepts across Modern Warfare 2, including its new gunsmith. Call of Duty Next released a wealth of intel among other announcements. We saw the game's innovative multiplayer in action hinting at the evolved special ops and even went further into the future with Call of Duty Warzone 2, a game that shares the same engine and locations as Modern Warfare 2. Then we had the largest beta in Call of Duty history, giving an early preview of Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer to more community mem members than ever before. And then here it says one week based on estimated access, actual playtime subject to possible outages and applicable time zones, uh, time zone differences up here, that's for the campaign. This announcement is the final piece of Intel before your hands on introduction to Call of Duty's new era with Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access. And with it begins an exciting two months of content through the start of Season 1 and the release of Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. October 9th, 10am Pacific Time, all platforms Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access preload begins. So note that down. Pre-order digitally now and get the campaign early access experience ready to play. October 20th, 10am Pacific Time, all platforms Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access begins. Experience what made Task Force 141 become the iconic and legendary squad that it is today. As the globe-trotting and breathtaking story continues from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm so excited for this. Then we got some more dates here. I'm not sure why they're including the Xbox when they up here already set all the platforms. I'm a little bit confused about that. And then regional rollout, PlayStation, and then October 26th at 10 a.m. PT. PC, Steam, and Battle.net. Full game preload begins. Depending on platform, preload the rest of Modern Warfare 2 before or during campaign early access to ensure multiplayer and special ops are ready to play at launch. So here we can kind of see a map of the world here. So uh, during October 27th, we got some times here. I'm gonna actually zoom in a bit here. So here we got a look at the release times. So this is October the, uh, 27th here. And then on October 28th, then we got some times here as well where you will be able to play Modern Warfare 2. And it says it down here as well October 27th consoles 4 a.m. Pacific time to 9 p.m. Pacific time regional rollout October 27th PC CMAP above for timing so like I said before you can take a look at the times here I'll leave a link for this website down below in the uh, in the description as well so you can take a look at it Modern Warfare 2 officially launches in addition to the campaign dive into an immersive world-class multiplayer and an evolved special ops co-op experience also ricochet anti-cheat fully activates around the world with new and updated security measures I'm really Really, re I should I should mention this. I haven't covered the ricochet stuff because I'm really, really against their kernel level drivers. But that's a that's a whole nother topic for another video. But if you want to know why, you can do a little bit more digging and research. Basically, with ricochet getting kernel direct kernel access, it's like beyond me why they are going this far. Like why they're going to the step. It's not gonna help against anti-cheat. All it's going to do is give them access to your PC, to your hardware behind, like this skipping windows and everything, they have direct access from your PC. Like the highest top access that you can have. It's bad. But yeah, do more research if you're interested. October 28th to November 15th, Modern Warfare 2 preseason. Level up through the military ranks to unlock all base loadout items, complete each weapon platform's progression tree to unlock all weapons and attachments, and progress through each special op kit's tier system ahead of Season 1. Once the game launches, Vault Edition owners gain access to the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault and Red Team 141 Operator Pack and for those who unlock rewards during campaign early access and the beta, rewards will become available once the full game is live. November 16th, Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 DMC and Battle Royale modes launch alongside Modern Warfare 2 Season 1. Note that down, November 16th, 
Warzone 2.0 is in the air. In addition to a host of other content, a returning fan favorite multiplayer map and additional special last missions arrive to Modern Warfare 2. All players can drop into all new El Mastro map as part of Call of Duty Warzone 2, survive a brand new experience in DMC and enjoy a new battle pass system and two free functional weapons. Vault Edition owners can activate their free seasonal battle pass unlocked and 50 tier skips. December 14th, Season 1 Reloaded introduces Raids. Special Ops receives the very first episode of Raids for Operators to Master, plus another legendary multiplayer map comes to Modern Warfare 2, while Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 has its first post-launch update. Week 0 Early Campaign Access Overview Available with digital pre-order or pre-purchase campaign early access gives you an immersive introduction to Modern Warfare 2. Take the full early access period to learn about Task Force 141, its ties to the Mexican Special Forces and the overall foundational narrative to the next chapter of the Modern Warfare Universe's story. A head start on earning campaign completion unlocks the Union Guard weapon blueprint. Four base operators and cosmetic items are yours to keep for multiplayer special ops and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 just by completing the campaign. Plus, get extra time to achieve platform-specific accolades. Campaign, the next chapter of the Modern Warfare story. The Modern Warfare 2 campaign is an indirect continuation of the Modern Warfare 2019 story, picking up three years after Task Force 141's original formation. So these are just some more details about the storyline behind Modern Warfare uh, 2. It is a direct continuation from Modern Warfare uh, 2019. You can look through this if you want. I don't want to get it spoiled too much. I know it's a continuation. I'll be playing the campaign here on the channel. Which, by the way, if you don't want to miss out, be sure to subscribe. I'll be releasing videos on that. I'm actually going to do a entire video covering what you can what you can earn through playing the campaign and stuff like that. So make sure you're subscribed as well and have notifications turned on to watch that. I go through all of this stuff right here. I already have it recorded. I was going to release it, but then they dropped this. So yeah, might as well split up. Can't sit here all day anyway, because this thing is long. Multiplayer, innovative, immersive, and world class. More intel before release. Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer defines emergent gameplay with a focus on variety. Those who played the beta already got a glimpse of the game's assortment of modes, locales, and loadout items. On day one, there will be 12 unique modes, 10 traditional modes on core maps, and two ground war modes on battle maps. These maps are grouped into one of the three regional categories. El Mastra, Las El and rest of the world. The last group of multiplayer locales in assortment of core maps will be no specific region, a mixture of places within the campaign and completely outside of the entire main storyline. These maps round out the Modern Warfare 2 universe with glimpses of what is happening outside of El Mastra and Les Almas. Prior to the full game release, expect this blog to bring you a full breakdown of all multiplayer specific features including maps, modes and launch playlists, tips on creating a loadout and more. Special Ops replayable co-op raids come in Season 1, an evolution of the Special Ops mode from Modern Warfare 2019. This co-op experience will initially feature three missions at large, all taking place in El Masra. Low profile, infiltrate a town in the dead of night to uncover intel and evidence left behind by El Gatala before exfiltrating. Stealth is key to survival. Denied area, multiple SAM turrets are preventing reinforcements from El to entering El Masra. With the help of a vehicle, navigate through the winding streets of a suburb to destroy them, then speed over to the actual plane to escape. Defender, a love letter to fans of survival modes, defend the observatory with increasingly difficult waves of enemies attempting to detonate bombs. Between each wave, operators can spend cash to get items such as kill streaks, self-revive kits, and armor plates. Operators will have access to a backpack to store equipment and one of the three that are similar to a set of perks, field upgrades, and a kill streak in multiplayer. Assault kit focused on increased armor with an armor box field upgrade. Later levels include their assault suit and munition. Think mini juggernaut, increased armor capacity, and free stims included in the backpack. Medic kicked focused on quicker revives with a revive pistol field upgrade for ranged instant E revives. Later levels include a free bomb drone, similar benefits to the double time perk, and free claymores and anti tag mines included in the backpack. Recon kit focused on better equipment usage with a snapshot pulse field upgrade to see nearby enemies. Later levels include the ability to automatically restock lethals and tacticals over time, the ability to carry extra equipment, and a free heartbeat sensor and spotter scope included in the backpack. Kids are leveled up by earning stars through missions and mission related challenges which gives all three of these launch missions plenty of replayability. So I guess the backpack is something that you that you level up over time and don't just level up in that specific round or play session. 
That's cool. We highly recommend completing all three special ops missions with three stars and have at least one kit leveled up to tier 5 before raids, a direct continuation of the campaign I introduced to special ops later in season 1. Ooh. Progression, the journey at launch more intel prior to release. At launch there is more to Modern Warfare 2 than the traditional military ranks. Prior to season 1, which will feature a new battle pass system and seasonal prestige, players will have access to the following progression systems. Military ranks from level Levels 1 to 55 unlock all weapon platforms, multiplayer loadout items, and special ops kits. Weapon platforms each weapon platform will feature camo and mystery challenges. Most will include progression trees with the ability to unlock platform specific and universal attachments, with some also allowing you to unlock receivers, which serve as additional functional weapons within the platform. Special ops kits each special ops kit can be leveled up to a maximum of rank 10 by replaying missions or completing challenges to earn stars. Base operator unlock challenges earn 18 operators through challenges related to campaign, multiplayer and special ops. Daily challenges in multiplayer and special ops complete 3 challenges every day for XP rewards and unlock a bonus challenge, which offers triple the XP of a regular daily challenge. Wow! And additional challenges, career milestone challenges such as winning matches on specific game modes will also be available for XP and cosmetic rewards. Expect a breakdown of all these progression systems in a dedicated blog within the game's release window. The best way to prepare for Warzone 2.0 dropping on November 16th. Through Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and special ops, familiarize yourself with the core of Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. Operators 25 available at launch, 18 can be unlocked during the Modern Warfare 2 preseason, plus get two mil sim operators with four unique outfits unlocked by default, four unlocked via the Vault Edition, and one PlayStation exclusive operator for those who pre-ordered on PlayStation Store. Over 30 weapon platforms at launch for over 50 unique weapons. Get anywhere from one to six unique weapons per platform. Vault Edition owners gain access to the FTX Cinder Weapon Vault, which contains all receivers and attachments for one of the weapon platforms available at launch. Beta participants will have access to both their weapon blueprints if unlocked during the beta period. That's cool. Gameplay mechanics, movement, firing and other fundamental features are shared between all games within the Modern Warfare 2 universe. Operators meet Spec Gru and Core Attack, including PlayStation exclusive Oni. Following the events of the campaign, two private military contractors, Spec Gru and Core Attack, are founded as special forces for hire capable of carrying out international tactical operations. So just like before where you had like two sides to choose the operators from, I guess these are the two sides now. So here we got the operators in the Spec Gru category here we got soap price ghost farah zemo yeah all these guys here and then we got core attack down here with well all these guys weapon platforms and the gunsmith at launch there will be 33 unique weapon platforms available to unlock through the military ranks each weapon platform can contain up to six weapons which can be obtained by leveling up specific weapons within a weapon platform by unlocking all these weapon platforms and completing all applicable weapon platform progression thresholds you will receive 51 primary and secondary weapons to choose for a loadout expect 10 assault rifles four battle rifles seven submachine guns six light machine guns four shotguns six marksman rifles Three sniper rifles, one riot shield, oh boy, <laughs> five sidearms, four launchers, and one melee secondary weapon. One shared engine along with weapons that operators Modern Warfare 2 shares its core features with Warzone 2.0. So all the movement and like the mechanics and whatnot in you'll see in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is going to be the same in Warzone 2.0. That's going to be a lot easier to transition, but also to practice during uh, during multiplayer and then take that practice and skill into Warzone 2.0. Additional launch intel outside of Modern Warfare 2 get exclusive in-game rewards by watching any Twitch.tv stream of the game during launch week and celebrate launch with new task 141 themed gear at the Call of Duty shop. Incoming Twitch drops October 28th to November 6th. Right here, link your Activision ID and Twitch accounts, check out any streamer that has drops enabled on Twitch, and redeem the rewards. If you're interested in that, there you go. And there we go, that was a bunch of news. I'll try and keep updated when more blog posts get, rele get released. But with that done and said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you're excited for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. I am excited. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Helps out the channel a ton. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, goodbye.